Hours from now, Illinois election officials will decide whether they want to remove former President Donald Trump's name from their primary ballot. Our Mercedes McKay is joining us from the newsroom with more on today's hearing and how this is not an isolated case, Mercedes. Michelle and Rennie, believe it or not, we are under two months away from the Illinois Republican primary, which is set for March 19th. Right now, former President Donald Trump is dominating the GOP nomination race, so today's decision may have only a little political impact. Today's decision is at the Illinois State Board of Elections, and it comes after retired Judge Clark Erickson presided over a hearing and recommended Trump be removed from the ballot due to his actions during the January 6th insurrection. Now, this all comes after a group of voters claim Trump's actions disqualify him under the 14th Amendment's insurrectionist ban. Now, Illinois isn't alone in this fight. So far, actually 10 states have tried to remove the former president from the 2024 ballot. Only two have actually disqualified him, Colorado and Maine. The other eight states where the courts are allowing him to remain on the ballot, they're on your screen now. Those are Arizona, California, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, New Hampshire, Oregon and Washington. Now today's historic vote is at the Illinois State Board of Elections and that's scheduled to start at 930. Coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you how the board is politically split and what happens if there's a tie. All right, thanks so much, Mercedes. Thousands